Hey, wonderful people. All right. Does a law of attraction actually work? Just does. These people are not pumping out videos just for the views. It actually does work. I've seen it work. I work it all the time. I'm learning to work it consciously. There's something about um, uh, consciousness that that creates creates reality. I mean, we've seen it in um, quantum physics, quantum mechanics. You look at uh, that, and you come eventually come across all the possibilities. And the possibilities are broken down on what you expect to see in the measurements. And that will be the measurement. <laughs> I know. You can see the videos. But, yeah, so does it work? It definitely works. It works when you experiment with it. It works in your life. And you are using it all the time. The trick is to see you using it consciously. The, the trick is to use it consciously because if you don't then your subconscious will be using it and then you won't be happy because your subconscious is a mess believe me most of people's subconscious is a mess that's why 99 percent of the people are thought to be not successful because they are also a lot of people are uh, there are um manifesting what i call manifesting through the physical they see it, they react to it, they and then they re-manifest it, and it's this loop. They and this is why a lot of people don't change and their lives don't change. Yeah, we'll talk about all of that. But does this actually work? Have I seen it work? Yes, I have seen it work. How much? How have I seen it work? Well, I've seen. I've I've had instances where I said I wanted this this and this to happen and I want this person to say this in this order of words and this is what they're going to say and I said have it happen I swear to god it, it happened just like that and the people that I said that I wanted to say specific lines of dialogue said those specific lines of dialogue I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it and I was right there and see that's what was going through my head I can't believe this is happening but it's happening so it must be happening <laughs> and I even had to do a reality check to make sure I wasn't dreaming crazy um, yeah so it def definitely does work these people are not fooling when they say they have seen stuff and they've done stuff it just doesn't always work and we'll get into why in other videos <laughs> but yeah and let's see that it it works but it doesn't always work so people are like well it's not working for me or it's not working for my life it's always working for you it's always working for you it's just a matter of what your experience is pulling from I mean, what your manifestations are pulling from. Because you're always manifesting stuff. You're always... that this, this reality is a response to you. Always. Whether you like it or not. And I know a lot of people in this community do this specific person kind of thing. You know, why isn't this person texting me? Why don't they love me? Like, I want them to love me. Um, and it's, it's all you. It's all an internal game, dude. It's all an internal game. And uh, I, th I think the um, topics that people like most on this subject is, are um, specific person, right? Love, romance, um, sometimes getting rid of people in their lives, <laughs> and money, success. That's what people want. And these are topics that in ourselves are, I don't want to say messed up, but they kind of are messed up for most people, right? Most people have issues with, with romantic and um, love relationships, family relationships. Most people have problems with relationships with money. They just do, and that manifests. That manifests into <laughs> reality. 
So it does work, it's working all the time, but it's about, well, that's not what it's about. What it's about is getting it under control. That your stated desires of what you really, really, really want in your life actually come true instead of it running on some kind of autopilot or reiterating what you already see every day in your life and what you have seen in your life because the things that will run your manifestational outcomes are your subconscious and your brain and they all go by the past. You want things to be better, you have to take it somewhere else and that's where we're going to go. I have hundreds of epiphanies written down on documents. I've been um, researching this for years, decades, honestly. Uh, a good place to start, actually, well, is Seth. He talked about it in this book. This book was written like in the 60s. Yeah, and he, he doesn't call it the law of attraction or uh, anything like that, but he starts talking about it in the 60s. That's kind of when this stuff started to take off, and you had Neville Goddard in the 50s, I think maybe as early as the 40s, um, all the way up to now. So what is that, like 60 years? More than 60 years people have been talking about this. It's not, I don't know, fiction. It, it really works. I've seen it. I've gotten money from it, dude. Yeah, I've gotten. It, the, how much? <laughs> the most amount of money I've manifested was $220,000. And that I came to that number because I just liked the way it felt. That's how crazy this stuff is. That's, and I tell you, it's a little trippy. When you get into the specifics on how to do it correctly, it, it's gonna, it's almost like schizophrenia, honestly. Schizophrenia is where you imagine, where your imagination produces images and sounds, senses, that are imaginary, but you, your brain and your mind can't tell the difference between your imagination and what's actually happening. And there is a part of your brain that does that. Everybody does that. Everybody kind of hallucinates their reality. Uh, that has been a discovery by science in the last few years as well. And the reason why we do that is to create it as we go. Yeah, it's not to um, document it as we go, like we used to think. We're recreating this whole thing, and it's up to our decisions, our desires, our beliefs, our visualizations, our subconscious. <laughs> He's in there too. And some other out there factors that determine on what you're going to manifest in your day tomorrow, next week, the next year, next decade. Yeah, it's all in you already. It's all. It's not a fate because you can change it, but it's there. It's pointing in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it does work. Um, I have been using it consciously uh, for quite a while now, and I'm going to do that tomorrow and a day after and a day after, and I'm still learning. It is a never-ending rabbit hole that you will go down. And the more you learn on how it works, the better your life gets. I'm sorry, a lot of it's knowledge-based. I wish it, well, in a ways it's kind of innate when you find out how simple and how organic it kind of is. And I think that's because of our mind, our brain, it's just so complicated. Our mind and brain are so complicated. And they take us off into crazy directions and you know we're doing all this kind of crazy stuff. But it, at the end of the day it's really simple. And it's basically what kids do. You know, it, it's basically basic. <laughs> but yeah, it does definitely does work. And okay, so Let's, let's, 
unpack that. It definitely does work. Hey, man, there is magic in the universe. <laughs> right? That's 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 kind of the problem with con with um, quantum mechanics. You know, they didn't want magic in the universe. They wanted a clear cut. You know, one. Two plus two equals four every time. That's what science wanted. And when you get down to the quantum level, two plus two can equal one, it can equal two, it can equal three, it can equal four, it can equal five, it can equal six. That's the that's the issue. That's the problem that they have, but that's the that's the gift of the universe here. You got magic in your life that you're probably not using honestly you don't know how great the probabilities and possibilities because that's what this is that's what law of attraction is law of assumption we're all playing with possibilities and probabilities and then honest, honestly they're not limitless that they're, they're, they're so extensive though that you probably can't imagine the limits <laughs> and mm, when you pass on and you get to the other side and you realize how limit, almost limitless that your life was and what you could have done and what you could, it's gonna blow your mind. Just take it in now. Let's unpack this. This magic works here now in this universe. You can have things that actually, that you dream about just because you dream about it. You can, you can, detail your life down to the smallest thing. People do this all the time without even realizing it. If you've come to law of attraction, what you're doing is you are dialing down on the smallest minute power in the universe that makes life happen. And there are, most people in the world don't do that, but a lot of people that are very successful in whatever they want, they they kind of know it. They kind of know what to do. Like like somebody who can play the piano very well, but they don't know anything about what goes into the piano or why it works. It still doesn't matter. They can still hit the keys. They can still get things done. But people like us, we're coming from the other side, right? We, we want we're like. We make the we made the piano and now we're learning to how to play it correctly instead of just hitting all the keys at once and having a cacophony of noise. And that's really what it comes down to. You don't want noise, you want an orchestra, you want a symphony of your life. And then you can definitely have that. And that's definitely what we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into it because you want an abundance of greatness in your life and you can have that and you can have that for all eternity once you crack the code in yourself. Yeah, it's all an inside game, dude. It's all an inside game. Yeah, so this is real. This is really happening and we're really gonna get into it because hey man, life is amazing and it's happening and it's now. <laughs> Let's do this.